the next session will be um, hosted by someone that unfortunately could not join us for today, but um, um, you prepare a video, which we're going to play afterwards. Um, the person who will be on the video is Dr. Akira Naka, Naka, Nakawara, which is the chair of the Asian Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Group. So I hope you enjoy the video. Hi. How are you? This is Akira. Good morning and hello, everybody. My name is Akira Nakagawara uh, from Japan, and I'm currently the chairman of the Asian Pediatric Hematology and Oncology Group, APOC, and director of the NGO, Marco Koro Organization for Childhood Cancer, MOCC MOC. Congratulations on the first global Oncothon on Childhood Cancer Awareness Day, run by Dr. Gebor Tamamian's group in Armenia. It's a great honor for me to join such an exciting challenge as one of the guest speakers. I'm talking about the APOC story and its activities and then about the global events uh, related to the APOC. So in, 2000, in 2012, at the time of Cyber Asia, 2012 Congress held in Jakarta, Indonesia, the Asian leaders of pediatric hematology and oncology had gathered and agreed to make the unified clinical study group of childhood cancers in Asia. Since then, uh, we had many times of discussion how to make the study group. But uh, the way to meet the goal uh, has never been so easy. So, however, we could finally and officially count the effort in March 2021 that was uh, just three years ago. Our basic idea is that Sire Asia is a continental branch of Sire and is an academic society, while APOC should be an action team of Sire Asia to reach the same goal. No child should die of cancer, or care for more, care for all. Therefore, Cyber Asia and APOC should function just like the Chinese global are uh, two pairs of a car. To support APOC financial and official, we made an NGO MOCC MOC that stands for Magotoro Organization for Childhood Cancer in Japan. The people are the members of APOC or executive council. So from upside left, uh, myself, uh, chair of the executive council at APOC, Godfrey Chan, Secretary General, Dr. Kurima Kipure, uh, executive council member of APOC, India, uh, Dr. Bhadagabar, India, and the same. And Dr. Uh, Hiroki Gori, uh, he's a uh, current uh, continental president of South Asia and also executive council member in Africa. So Dr. Chikong Lee uh, of Hong China, uh, Dr. Alice Yu of Taiwan, and Dr. Mohammed Sajir Khan of uh, Pakistan. So we also set up the APOL advisory board and its members. The leaders of the major national clinical study teams of childhood cancer in Asia are included. The leaders of JCCZ of Japan, uh, Cape Cod, South Korea, CCCG in China, Import in India, Taipal of Thailand, uh, Tipal of Taiwan, and RSPOH of Russia are the members. This is our first original peer-reviewed paper 
uh, published last year in the JCO Global Oncology 2023. So as you can see here, the title of the paper is Current Challenge of Asian and National Children's Cancer, uh, Cancer Study Group on behalf of APOL. The structure of APOL society is now under construction. In addition, we are uh, receiving uh, nominations for the re representative of each Asian country. So according to the global mapping of uh, Asia, which side is now trying to map. The childhood cancer is one of the rare cancers that occupies only 0.3% of all cancers. Yes, it's rare, but not rare actually if we think, uh, think it at the level of the world. So every year, uh, we see more than 410,000 children with cancer per whole, and about 250,000 children with cancer a year in Asia. So importantly, uh, more than 90% of child cancer for low and middle income countries in Asia. So recent reports have revealed that the mortality of child cancer is significantly high in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, as you can see in this slide. Actually, 80% of children with cancer in high-income countries can be cured now. On the other hand, only 0 to 50% of our children with cancer in low- and middle-income countries can be cured. Thus, uh, this is a, uh, there is a big difference in the cure rates between the countries with high income and those with low and middle income. We cannot ignore such kind of inequality. Only. The reason why not be cured in low and middle income countries are uh, no medical service. Uh, due to poverty, innocence, misdiagnosis, wrong therapy, abandonment of therapy, treatment failure, etc. To fight against such uh, inequality, uh, both SIOP and the WHO stood up and proposed the idea WHO Global Childhood Cancer Initiative to the United Nations in 2018, and it was adopted anonymously. So then the goal was set up to be uh, by 2030. Let's achieve at least 60% survival for all children with cancer in the whole world. So that is the WHO Global Initiative for Childhood Cancer, WHO GSCC. Since then, the leader of WHO, Dr. Andre Levi, together with his colleague, has flied around the whole world <coughs> to enlighten the WHO GSCC in the world. So WHO specifies six uh, target diseases, which included uh, ALL, uh, Bartlett uh, lymphoma, Hodgkin lymphoma, retinoblastoma, Williams tumor, and low-grade glioma, all of which are relatively curable after appropriate uh, therapies. In addition, WHO also specified target countries including Philippines, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Nepal, Mongolia, Uzbekistan, and Ukraine in Asia. To support to achieve the goal of WHO GSCC, both APOC and NGO MOD decided it to call 
at the Book Day events a year. I'd like to introduce you uh, two of such uh, recent events. The first one is the third WHO GICC in Tokyo 2023, which was held in Tokyo last September. The event was held at the main hall of the National Cancer Center in Tokyo. The important event, uh, contents uh, have been broadcasted on TV and by newspapers. So HRH uh, Princess Dina Meret in Jordan, who is a mother of the son with the cancer and also former president of the USCC, gave a wonderful message. The impressive message has also been given by Dr. Carlos Rodriguez Galindo, who is a director of St. Jude Global in the United States. The global panel discussion was uh, conducted by networking of Pakistan, Cambodia, and Japan. The moderators were Godfrey Chan, China, and Dr. Halashmi Darby, India. After the discussion, so many uh, nice comments were given by the authorities. Uh, Dr. Sadaf Artha, India. Dr. Puna Kukure, India. Dr. Gebal Tamami, Armenia. Uh, Dr. Lamande Palora, India. And Dr. Panya Sexum, uh, Thailand. Dr. Maliko Kakazi, a pediatric oncologist uh, staff uh, of the NGO Japan Heart, uh, joined this event from Cambodia through online and reported how the cure rate of children with cancer in Cambodia is getting better now. So this is a screening of the global panel discussion of the events. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Gebaru Tamamian, Dr. Ramandir Palolo, Dr. Gosprit Chan, and Dr. Rashmi Darby. The mother and her son with cancer of who fights against uh, gave us a deep thought. The, ch the champion of the Paralympic in Tokyo, who gave a survivor, uh, who was a survivor of a suicide coma, was a hero, uh, giving a wonderful dream to all the people. So another event uh, is that of the International Childhood Cancer Day, ICCD in 2024, held in Saga, Japan on uh, February 4th, just 10 days ago. So this event was hosted by NGO MOC, International Alliance Club, SIOP, and APOC. So both Dr. Kathy Pritchard Jones, a former president of SIOP, and Dr. Geraldo uh, Shantada, the current president of SIOP, are very kind supporters to this event. So thank you very much, all this. So, uh, the global uh, virtual uh, dialogue uh, between Dr. Mariko Kakazu, Japan Heart, Cambodia, and Ms. Uh, Kazuo Watanabe, NGO Asia Child Care League, ACCL, encouraged all the participants very much. Thank you, Mariko and the Kazuya. So in this event, we introduced a new friend, Purple Song Can Cry, uh, which works at Texas uh, Children's Hospital in the United States. So Miss Anita Cruz uh, is a singer-songwriter and has made uh, many, many uh, songs for the children with the cancer uh, at the uh, Texas Children's Hospital. 
So we are looking forward to collaborate them together in the future. The last thing, so this year, the SIOP Asia Congress is going to uh, Yokohama, Japan. It, it will be held in coming June from 22nd to 25th. So during the Congress, we will also uh, have the April annual meeting, the 2024, on June 24th, the third day of the SIOP Asia Congress. So uh, all of you are welcome uh, to Yokohama. Uh, then uh, see you there again to all of you. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you.